Now we can get high. Yeah, I hope your mom doesn't come. Yeah, she would come, that bitch. Yeah, she is a mom. You said it. No, you did. You said it. Now let's get smoking some pot. All right. How, how many should we how take? I don't know. I'm four? <gasps> no, I heard some kid died off four. <gasps> then we better take four. I'm, 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 what? Three pots. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mmm. Mm. Warm it up. Mmm. I can't wait to tell the other kids at class that we got high on pile. What's up, <gasps> I just heard a sound that sounded like my mom sounds when she comes. What would your mom do if she found us high on pot? <gasps> <gasps> hey, T.T., I'm back from the church store. Oh, no. Sam, we have to hide. Hide me in this bag. <laughs> what? Sam, why would we hide you in a bag? Sam, we have to hide. Your mom's coming. I'm down the hallway. She's coming. Sam, this is simple. Let's just throw the pot under the pot, under the pot, under the pot, under the bed. We can throw me under the bed once I'm in the bed, okay? I'm, I'm almost to your door. door. Quick, tie me up. Tie me up. All right, tie hurry. me up. Tie just me up. Be quiet. Tie up. Look, I cut her hair. Her hair. You planned this? I'm in the doorknob. And I'm entering your room. Room. Hi, today's your day. Uh, I smell day. smoke. Uh, there's smoke in here, Mom. That must just be your ba 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 bag. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, what's in that bag? Oh, nothing. It's just, you know, your. Hmm. It sure is big. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hey, T, I'm almost sure someone's in that bag. No, it's just some pots. Oh. <gasps> Was that, 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 that Sorry, that, buddy, that, had to that, make that, some that, room. That, that, that. T, you are grounded for a year. Mom, Dad's having an affair with his secretary at work. What? I, I can't yeah. believe it. How yeah. many years of marriage? Yeah, kind of makes this whole meeting thing seem pretty inconsequential. Oh, I'm so angry. Yeah. I'm gonna go play outside with my pants on. Man, oh man, oh man. You think you know somebody and they turn around and they get you. Hi, honey, I'm home from work. That's what you get, Mr. Man. What's Oh, don't what's wrong me. T told me all about Marla in the driveway. What are you t I know everything. I cook and I clean. I forget all my friends for how many years of marriage and I know everything. Well, what about me? Are you defending yourself? I, I want a divorce and I don't even want to keep in contact with my kids or call them on their birthdays. Ladies and gentlemen, this sketch really happened seven years ago in a small town called Branson. So why would we parade such a horrible story for everybody to see? Well, we here at The Whitest Kids think that comedy is just tragedy. That's how us comedians come up with these funny jokes like, my mom. <laughs> so what we've done is we put together a documentary to show you the long journey of the salmon from real life to on real life. We all know the salmon story. It's a good one. I was getting paranoid a lot. I had all these plans that if anything went down, I wasn't going to be in a bag. And my idea of not being there was to be there. I thought it would be easier to hide the pot in your pocket or uh, in your pocket or uh, hide the pocket in your pocket, really. But Sam wanted to hide the pot. And that was the original plan. But then as time went on, the pocket uh, part was nixed and it was thrown out onto the, the floor, which I thought defeated the salmon. That's when things went dad, because that's when he snitched on his dad. And it worked, because my mom got dad, and then I left. But then my dad came home, and then they started fighting. My mom threw a fit. She stormed out of the house, said we'll never see her again, that we could all go And that was it. We thought that was it, and that we'd never, never, never see her again. Um, but we were wrong because she came back that night and so then she had to go to prison and that just started this whole awful awful period but now we're doing a sketch about it trevor during rehearsals was intense i'm coming <laughs> 
that was something else. Why are you doing this? But I'm just reading my line. Are you? I'm coming. I'm coming. That's what I said. I know. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming down. Oh. I'm coming. Okay. Don't know what faggot. I want to kill everybody. And I think about it a lot. And I draw it a lot. I come a lot. I'm okay with me. I'm gonna kill a lot.